Aren't we stupid that we're scared, we're letting them bosses around, but we're going to talk about this in the show, how they're oppressing us, how they're giving us tyranny. I'm not scared. And I want you to know the Proud Boys. There's a public school lockdown it, again starting tomorrow. I know. Tomorrow. We're going to talk about that. You know these Proud Boys, they're wonderful. They're all over the country. Heshi, I'm coming to protect you. If anybody threatens you, because a few people threaten me, I'm going to come protect you. I had a couple of people from As Jersey. you need protection. I know that, but <laughs> Jersey, people calling me from Texas, Florida, North Carolina, sending me the best. Heshi, I'm going to come down if you need help we're gonna save you you know what guys I love your support and I thank you and we will create this army we will keep the movement moving and I want you to know we have a lot of TikTok viewers already. I'm almost near 18,000. And the, uh, uh, and all of that is, is just going up higher and higher on, on Instagram and YouTube. Anyways, we're going to start the show. We're going to make a few commercials. You can call into the show, 713 or 390. And we're going to talk about the guy who does this show, who runs all the cameras, who makes us look good. And he is High Tech Web Group. And this time I'm not going to mess it up. High Tech Web Group. His website, or his, his email is info, I-N-F-O, at High Tech Web group.com h-i-t-e-c-h-w-e-b-g-r-o-u-p.com if you're watching this show this guy is just great call him 212-235-2777 212-235-2777 he can construct all your websites um he has experience in in this the the computer business the internet business this guy sets it up for you from cameras to phones call high tech web group 212-235-2777 he runs this show right now, and I better be real nice to him so we don't lose um, <laughs> our videos. And then who's next, my wonderful Sawyer? Did I, you know, I didn't even introduce you to the show. How are you, Sawyer? Hi, everybody. How come your hair is all messy? Oh, no, it's Through beautiful. The no, 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 the hair, hair is beautiful, beautiful. You she didn't even a, give me a chance. It's beautiful. No, no. You I, want to get I, punched I out joke. there. <laughs> I know that. I thought, I thought it's wonderful. And those fingernails, uh, did you do a, a, a what's it called again? A I, got my, I got my nails done just Wow, you look so great. Thank you so much. Who's next on our list, uh, wonderful, beautiful Sawyer? A Plaza Auto Leasing. I thought we started She's with T.T. Styles. I know that she has every, guys, guys, this is going to take forever with this girl here. TTStyles.com. Here, wigs, makeups, wedding events, and all affairs. You can reach Tahila at 718-675-6842, or you can email her at Tahila, T-E-H-I-L-A, at ttstyles.com. Again, 718-675-6842. And remember, she brings out the beauty in you. Now, guys, I gave them a list of order of the commercials, so <laughs> they see how they don't even do anything. Well, now, what do course, you want? A one looks like a two to me. Now, all, you of know course, we have Plaza Auto Leasing. Guys, I'm holding up the ad. I know it pops up on your screen. I I love these guys. You lease a car from these guys. They the service is just wonderful. You can lease and finance oh, and no. you can get just about any make or model. This is like one of the biggest leasing places. Most I places see, they I don't have, have they right. have uh, Acura, they have Hyundai, Honda, uh, every make and model you I'm can told think of. You can of. even buy. You can not only lease there but you can finance and they're open on Sundays. But I hear that they are the lowest prices on any makes and models, and any time they have a huge inventory. They're located at 2715 Nostrand Avenue in Brooklyn, Plaza Auto Leasing, 2750 Nostrand Avenue, Sundays 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., Monday through Thursday 9 a.m. to 7 p.m., and Fridays 9 to 1. And what's their phone number, Sawyer? 718-975-9000. That's 718-975-9000. Wow. Very, very good. And I, I'm, I'm telling you, I leased a car from Tell them Uncle Heshi sent you. That's right. You should. And then we have Cook's Power. 347-794-8236. Cook's Power at gmail.com. I just love his email. K-U-G-S-P-O-W-E-R at gmail.com. It doesn't so take much to excite you, know? you, Heshi. No, no, but I'm telling you, this is a smart businessman. You should see the way he does his electrical. He has permits. He does high voltage, low voltage. This guy knows his stuff. And don't think I'm, I'm in the business. So I you actually know business. he knows his stuff. You guys call Cook's Power, uh, 347-794-8236. Talk about them. They are a family-owned and operated company since 2012, serving Brooklyn for all your high-voltage electrical needs, lighting installations, repairs, remodeling, and he gives free estimates. I love Cook's Power. What's their email? I'm sure you don't know. Cook'spower at gmail.com. So do you know the phone number? No. 347-794-8236. 347 
Whatever, right? <laughs> Seven nine four eight two three six. And then who do we have next? James Meadows, my favorite lawyer, ticket man, second generation criminal lawyer. This guy's number, the phone number is just cool. But we'll get to that in a minute. He covers moving violations in New York. The majority of his business. It's New York City, but he has places that he can deal with Jersey. He's one of the top-ranked number uh, uh, lawyers on Google, Avo, Yelp. He doesn't do any plea bargains. He has hundreds of online reviews. His number is... 845-T-I-C-K-E-T-S. That's 845-T-I-C-K-E-T-S. Or 845-842-5387. 845-842-5387. But I want you to know something. You have to lawyer up. You know, this... what. Cuomo is doing to us in the schools and the synagogues and schools. He does it with tickets. I'm seeing the police officers pull you over. I love the police officers, but guys, sometimes they make mistakes or they're too overzealous. You call James Meadows. This guy just blows you away. He's not plea bargaining with you. I'm going to repeat it again. 845-T-I-C-K-E-T-S or 845-842-5387. And you just tell him, has she told you to call? I love him. He's great. Then we have Green Line Building Solutions. Just alone what I've accomplished Building this consulting, violation removals, construction management, owner compliance contracting, licensed department of building, expediters, designs, fire department, HPD, criminal court, department of finance, Can't ECD, we just say et cetera? Et cetera, et cetera. Why are you, why are you interrupting her? It's Sorry. my business. Yes. You question. can reach. Heshi Tischler at Green Line Solutions at 718-871-0382. That's 718-871-0382. Heshi, you really are the best in the field. Located at 202 Forster Avenue. I really am. People are calling me. They're calling me with other things. No others have been able to accomplish. I even have people telling me this week. And I say to them, I'm just. I've heard it. I used my uh, brain. I used my my ideas. And I help people get to the finish line. And we argue in the business. We fight with each other. And the clients hear it. I've been told that X. Expeditors from other companies actually come for your your help yeah. when they can't get things yeah. done. They come to you. Yeah, lawyers, expeditors, and we right. work with other people. And then we corner. We have my favorite corner cafe. You know they have something called an Impossible Burger. Have you heard that? No. I've heard. So I've tried the Impossible Burger. Wonderful. I had it again today. It's, they have milkshakes and flesh. No, no. It's called the Impossible Burger. It's, it's a dairy burger. It's that a dairy like burger. Meat. Two all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onion, and sesame seed no. bun. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's their Big Mac. No, it's their corner <laughs> cafe. They're located at Two Ditmas Avenue, Brooklyn, New York. York. Um, they're open even though they ha- we have COVID out there. Um, you, c- you should wear your mask when you go in. You can bring your wife for a delicious meal. For I- an impossible, I want an impossible burger. I- I'm telling you, it's great. He has good prices over there. You just mentioned Heshi Tishlo or Uncle Heshi or whatever. He loves me and he will give you a surprise. They have deliveries at 718-435-2233. They have beautiful platters. Uh, they have uh, they have a-, a little hall that we can have occasions, <laughs> events, and so on. 718 718- Four three five two two three three, and I want you to know, and I'm going to say it again. Linda calls them every day, so if you lose the phone number, just call Linda, and she'll give you the phone number. You have nothing to worry about. Seven one eight four five four three five two two three three. I know that number by heart already because Linda knows it by heart. Anyways, we have what next? Fallon's Place. Fallon's Place. Beautiful clothing for adults, teens, and children. Located at thirty one thirty two Bedford Avenue. You can email them at F-A-L-L-O-N-S-P-L-A-C-E dot com or you can call them at 718-325-5667 or 718-F-A-L-L-O-N-S. Hashi, do they carry a children's line as well? Yeah. They do. They have children's, children's adults. Children's, preteens. Adults, clothing, adults. very nice stuff. Nice She's stuff cool. at good yeah. prices, Bobby, prices. Mommy, and Little Yenti Everybody. can all shop there. Then we have, okay. we have Wolf's Grocery. He told okay. me not to talk about him this week because we had a fight over the weekend. Big Bad Wolf. He says, stop calling me Big Bad Wolf. I'm not stopping. Forget it. Get it out of your head. <laughs> you are are located at 2362 Nostrand Avenue. You know, I heard today Walmart. I swear to you. I know you're going to lie. I was watching this in this I morning. I love Walmart. So <laughs> Walmart and another thing are running out of toilet paper. They are. They're running out of all these little supplies. Now, they haven't given... Um, uh, a quota yet when you come in to buy stuff, but the, each manager has a right to create that. How many you're allowed to buy? Walmart is running through because they're not restocking or it's not moving quickly again due to this new future crazy lockdown that we're going to talk about. But Wolf's Grocery is fully stocked. 718-252-1863, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Off the corner of Avenue J. See what I said? Off the corner, not on the corner. 
2362 Nostrand Avenue. 718-252-1863. Then we have, of course, HeshiTishler.com. I know it's H-E-S-H-Y-T-I-S-C-H-L-E-R. I want you guys to know about this site. HeshiTishler.com. That's me running for city council. I've officially, I haven't officially officially announced, but I'm officially making my video next week. And it's going to be posted all over TikTok, and, Instagram. And when so people you, go to this site, what do they do? So when you go to the site, you'll see a bunch of things. It's, it's almost finished. You'll see about Walk my ideas. Through. You'll learn about me. It tells you about stuff that I've done. It tells you my job ideas. It's going to give you some more things. It gives you a lot of pictures that I took. So am I to understand that you have officially, unofficially announced. Right, because I have to make a special official video. They want me to make an oh, official see, video I with see. a flag behind me and say, oh, uh, b- bless uh, God, he's going to let me run for thing. I'm running for city council. I'm going to be talking about my competitors as well. And please go to HeshiTishler.com. I need your donations. We need your help. We need your feedback. Get me elected, guys. I, You want me in that city council? You want me to destroy this crazy mayor and governor? You want me to get changes back? Get me in there. HeshiTishler.com. Not a lot of money. $25, $35. I get a couple of thousand of you grassroots, $175. Somebody told me that on a local level... A vote for you is equivalent to the vote for having been a voted for, for, for President Trump. I love you. Yeah. I love you. And we have Traveler's Choice, 212-868-8698. Tell us about them. Call Yossi or Devora Lifer, located in New York City. You can reach them at 212-868-8698. You can travel anywhere in the world, and they can help you package that itinerary. And hopefully we won't have to pick up and run, but nevertheless, if God forbid we do. 212-868-8698. Called Justin DeVoe Life. And, and remember, good. Traveler's Choice for Travel is your only choice. Correct. And then we have Peter v- Vario, a very good friend of mine. He's owner, project manager of Green Guard Sanitizing. I hope he calls in today because he does all kinds of sanitizing. Cut out the middleman. Um, just go to uh, straight out to Green Guard Sanitizing. He is the guy that comes in, he sanitizes your stores. He has great prices. He puts a sticker on there. Right, you said that he certifies... His the, sanitizing, the sanit- his sanitization and you're going to see it, it's right. not dangerous, no crazy chemicals. You call Peter Vario, Green, Gu- Green Guard Sanitizing, 347-624-7885, or you can, get, you can check out his website at www.greenguardsanitizing.com. Uh, he has an email as well, G-G-S-A-N-I-T-I-Z-I-N-G at gmail.com. Call Peter, 347-624-7885. He'll guide you the rest of the way. Him and his partner, Two great guys. They know the city. They grew up in this city. And by the way, Peter calls me up. He says to me, Heshi, I heard they threatened you. I'm coming over there. You watch me take care of you, me and my boys. I said, no, no, Peter, I love you. Just go back to sanitizing. You don't have to worry about taking care of me. But yes, I have my people protecting us. We're going to start the show, 718-303-9090. Shout out to Sergeant Peter. And my and my uh, uh, granddaughter, Mira Nava. Mira Nava. And I give my always my shout out to my dear friend, the Honorable. Dove Heiken. This week I spoke to him several days ago, and he mentioned to me that in light of what's going on in the world, the difficulties, they're going to be expanding Americans Against Anti-Semitism, which Soya happens to be a, a local chairperson of. And um, they're going. They're, it's a national organization. It'll yeah. be fighting on all levels, and he's meeting with other uh, officials and 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 and, and various but, yeah, donors you, and stuff. And uh, it's going uh, to be a lot going on. And we're going to keep you informed of what but, happens as as things move along. By the way, that reminds me. You on December the 9th, I got right. an invitation today at, to the White House for a Hanukkah party. Really? Now I don't know. <gasps> you got an invite? Oh my God! Didn't? No, 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 I want to meet him. It's not enough. Oh, actually, I, I, I want to see him. Boomy, oh God! I, I want to hug President. Wait a minute. Forget Boomy. Can I be your plus one? So, Forget about <laughs> Bumi. My, <laughs> my nephew Kevin already called me about it. Now, remember, it's on a Wednesday night. That means who's going to run the Just Enough Heshi show? It's Soya. You and I will go. Soya can <laughs> no, handle no, the no, show. No, 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 no. You run work. the show. I'll, I'll go. go. Oh, anyway. my God. I'll bring you we, back can a can lot, we, Can we do the show from there? Oh, yeah, can we, we do it with President show, Trump? We can we do it from there? We still have to go out? through a lot. I don't know if I can get there. I don't know if I can get approved yet. I've just You got an invitation from the White House? I got an invitation from the with the people they invite. So it's not, it's official, but I don't know. My exactly. heart is pounding. I'm you not sure yet. I got to make it happen. Heshi. I did make the list. There's a you, list. I you got made it, in, it. Well, I don't know. We'll see. All I can tell you is that I got the invitation. We'll see what happens from there. And I want to give you. That it'll be all your show that night. Well, it'll just right be me and Heshi meeting President Trump. Right now the president has got a lot to do, so we'll worry about that. Let us do our quote of the day. Ready? Please. Discovery consists of seeing what everyone has seen and thinking, but what nobody has thought. Do you understand? 
You see what's going on, but nobody thought about solving it or getting the thing done. That's what a discovery is. It's all there for you. You know, like the vaccine. You know, now I hear that Pfizer's vaccine is not 90%. It's 95%. No, okay. no, no, no. That's that. There are two companies. Right, Pfizer and Mod, and Mod, and Mod, Modian. What's it called? Uh, Moderna. 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 And Moderna, Moderna is 90, was ninety-five no, 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 nine, or ninety-four Moderna, point something. 90, and Pfizer's was the first one. 90, came out ninety-one percent. Right. And now today, I heard right now that Pfizer is at ninety-five percent. And any day they should get approved. Isn't that amazing? What President Trump and, did? He put things into warp speed. But why is, nobody on earth would have been able to do what he did? Why is the vaccine still out? And remember, this is the vaccine that Governor Cuomo. They're not Cuomo, interested in giving it out. By the way, right. they want to wait to give it out because they're waiting for. Biden, so right, he but could be this the is hero. the vaccine that, that the hero, Cuomo yeah, he said he's it. not going to use. Now he's going to use. And by the way, Cuomo is cl- not closing the schools. I'm going to play a little video with him. And then he had a fight with one of the reporters, called the reporter stupid, but he's allowed to do that. And uh, what happened was is that he's closing the schools, and the, then he's not closing the schools. Now the mayor's closing the schools. These two guys have no idea what this city is going on. They don't know what they're doing. Well, they're what do you want, Bozo right and Dingbat? Right. The two of them working together. So, anyways, <laughs> I'm going to give you my joke of the day. And uh, at a recent, we had somebody passed away a couple of months ago, and Linda got all crazy. I had to make a Linda joke this week. So Linda took me to one of our funeral homes here, to looking into making future arrangements for me and her. I said, Linda, I'm not going to oh, die. Nice. She's, she's already no. planning your funeral. Oh, isn't so that we go to this. She yeah. drags me. Well, I have to take Linda on a date once in a while. So the funeral I, parlor sounds like a nice place and to I, go. And I take her to the shopping. It's quiet. Center. It's I, peaceful. And yeah. I take her to the shopping center many right times. Next door, and I take yeah. her shopping and. I treat her for pizza every Saturday night. Do you eat at the parlor? Sometimes not anymore, <laughs> but as you can see, I'm a sport. So the cemetery salesman pointed out a plot that he thought would be perfect for me and Linda. So he said, you, there are some very holy people around there, but there's a beautiful view of the swan pond. I said, so, so, so what? Unless you're including a periscope... What do you think? I'm going to enjoy that? You know what I mean? I have to look out. Uh, uh. <laughs> From underground. Right. The he wants to charge me more to see the bomb. I'm dead. What do you're you better me? off being buried near a pizza place. Right. That's what I think so. Anyway, maybe well, I'll, I'll tell you, up. if you're buried out there where the rich people are in uh, exit 35 off the southern state, what's that, Montefiore? Wellwood. Uh, Wellwood cemeteries. I think they have a 7-Eleven right around the corner there. You know what <laughs> I mean? I'm going there. there. Yeah. Anyways, if I walk in there, I don't think people will be too happy after I'm dead. <laughs> I'm watching TV with Linda and the kids many years ago when the boys were little. We were watching a PBS special on the birthing of a baby. And after the baby came out and the baby slapped the baby, started crying, my little son Avon, he was nine years old, he was fascinated about the show. He says, Mom, does that hurt? She says, you know, Linda was thinking about it. Oh, yes, it does. She remembered her difficult difficulties. Wow, Avram said, does it hurt the mother too? You know, he was just, you know, <laughs> he didn't know. Whatever. That's cute. Yeah. Anyways, the jokes are over for the day. We're going to talk about a lot of stuff on the show. Call into the show, 713 3 We're going to take your calls right now, but I want to talk to you about something. De Blasio and that Cuomo. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say the word idiot. I'm gonna calm down. Um, the bozo. Right. But Yankee tells me, Heshi, you can't fight with them. Only go buy pizza. My friend Isaac says, Heshi, us people, we want to see you scream, but we want to see you do it without insulting them. Well, w- once them you're names. once you're in office, you'll be able to do it in a proper way from your position as a city councilman. But I'm never going to change. Them. But I, if that's right. what, But if that's what the people want, calm and quiet. They want you to insult but, them but in a classy way. But nobody's doing anything. No, I, I think there's a middle way. But I think the there's a middle way. The problem is the leaders are not shouting. You know, I, I just saw a press conference by Simcha Felder and a couple of our, our beautiful uh, uh, politicians. They're standing on a corner <laughs> talking about a store, but they're not worried about the rest of us. Where yeah. are they on a d- I'm out there every day. You know, I went to the hospital again. So everybody says, oh, she, every day you go to my mom hospital big deal then i went today to coney island hospital where i actually got in with a friend of mine now i got a report i want you to hear this one i got a report from uh the bronx in the bronx there's a few hospitals that are empty the guy sent me pictures and video they are uh, montefiore lincoln north central in the bronx all empty now you guys were in my monitors yesterday did you see it overloaded with corona patients in the emergency room? You not were there. at all. We, not we, at all. So no. now everybody can say, hey, she's lying and lying, but you can see I'm not lying to you. Guys, where is this second wave? He says the second wave is here. He says we're up to 3%. I don't understand. He says he can't test all the public school kids because there are a million of them, but he's making all the Jewish kids who go to Jewish schools in the hundreds of thousands 
to test. All the private Blat- schools to blatant test. Blatant discrimination. So this guy could do whatever he wants. He's now sending all the kids home. Parents have to not go to work again. He wants to destroy the middle class because the rich are the rich. But the middle class, the poor that can't afford it. The hardworking he's gonna people. He's going to take away our homes. He's going to take away our businesses. He's raising. I, I heard a business owner, a restaurant. They're closing the restaurants again. The lady says, I have to still pay my electric bill. I still have to pay my gas bill. And pay for the lease and to even pay for the right, rent. Right. And if she doesn't pay the rent, you see how... They close the, up the store. But the gas and electric companies... They don't care that you have to put food on the table. Yeah. They yeah. don't care that you have utilities to pay. They don't care... First of all, one, they were talking one hand and the other in two different directions. They were telling you at the beginning of the coronavirus, don't pay rent. So people, don't what, pay anything. What do you think, people? Should I continue screaming? <coughs> I, you know, I think so. But we I, need I, you, was, let's, let's I was at two weddings this week, and as you can see from my videos, and then I was chasing the sheriffs around the... Uh, last night a little bit because I was following them to make sure they don't get into the right halls. I was making the calls, telling people where they are. And these sheriffs come in with guns. Now, you had 12... Yesterday, I'm talking not into today. Into the wedding halls with guns? Yeah, Why? yeah, yeah. Because they want to empty out the place or they want to check it's not being Did run. they actually pull the guns? They don't they, pull the they guns. They just wear them out very... Right, because they're <laughs> sheriffs. Now, yesterday, I'm not talking today, 12 shootings, four murders, and here's the best part. I saw a video of a guy jumping on a bus with a fire torch, lighting the, t- everybody saw it, lighting the bus on fire. You think anybody was arrested yet? Do you think we're busy? Well, they're, they're afraid of these radical progressive liberals that part of a BLM or you part don't, of the You don't Antifa. get it, Hashi. They're terrified of them. You don't get it. One second. You don't get it. Why do I get it? I do get it. No, it's much easier to go around in Borough Park and in the Jewish communities and bully them and threaten them. No, no, you're making a mistake. It's not only the Jewish communities. They're going to Bensonhurst to the towns. They're going to the Chinese people. They're not going as much right now. They know where we don't care. Our movement has started. I want the rest of you guys to know. My Italian brothers, my Chinese brothers and sisters, my, my Muslim brothers and sisters, people in the Bronx, I don't know what's wrong with you. We've got to fight back, even if you're a leftist liberal. Do you understand that Mr. de Blasio, Mr. Cuomo, these people in politics, they're going to let you play your game. And sooner or later, they're going to take over. You know, the mayor, sure they're listen this one, the mayor, our rights. They the mayor of, right, they are. You know, he's putting on, besides this, they're saying there's new things coming. They, they want to lock us, they want to lock the whole country down for another six weeks. Dr. DeFuccio, what's his name, Fuccimo? Fauci. Fauci. Who cares? He says, well, we should all get together. Now, doctor, you said six weeks originally. You said two weeks together. Now you had the whole country locked down. None of your your processes worked. See, when you say, when you talk about this, they have an agenda. look, look, Look at the wisdom of our President Trump. Look at the wisdom. He understood that there was a balancing act. When the first wave hit, he had to do a certain amount of locking down in order to see if he can ameliorate the circumstances and reduce the, the, the impact of the initial wave of the coronavirus. But after a certain point, he also said, look, I've got a balancing act, I've got to juggle. What happens if I keep people locked down for too long? They lose their businesses. They've got to miss the, the economy lockdown. collapses. But people can, but, but, people but people commit suicide. No, you're not people listening get sick. To people get the, how many people get more, more Bumi, people get I'm, hurt from a lockdown I'm, than they do from the other way? It's a very dep- fine balancing act. And he did it, President Bumi, Trump. you don't want to hear It's not the depression. It's not the lockdown that's bothering me. The problem is, is that there is no lockdown. There never was. The government never shut down. 337,000 employees in New York City did not lock down. No, they so didn't. Of, so out of 8 million, you had 337,000. You had so many, uh, what do you call it, essential workers. Another 500,000 people. So what did you lock down? Where did this where did this corona happen? Small businesses. And then you had all the health people. Do you know that they're asking people on the health, you know, the frontline workers who are, un- who are half of them incompetent? Because I was in the hospital yesterday with you. A man was screaming for a bottle of water. So my point, what I'm trying to make to you is that, here, guys, these you have a million and a half people that are not locked down, that are still spreading the disease. And they're even telling health workers that have or are asymptomatic, which can spread it, go to work. So you're saying it's got to be either across the board lockdown Zero. or not? Right, and Governor all. Cuomo, the Pennsylvania mayor wants to tell everybody to wear masks at home. Governor Cuomo. At home? Yeah, I swear to God. <laughs> when do you get a chance to <laughs> breathe in? Just if right. Not even he, in the house? Not only that. How are they going to ticket you inside minute, your get, house? I want to know. And it gets better. Only 10 He pe- forgot about the Constitution. And now, Cuomo is a liar because- Cu- Which amendment was that? Wait a minute, but forget Cuomo is a liar because Cuomo is not going to do Thanksgiving. He's going to do- You know, he doesn't have a wife. His wife left him because he's an idiot. But I'm sorry. I apologize, Yankee Isaac. He's not an idiot. He's just a bad man. 
man. Oh, I don't know. I don't like him. Anyway, so Cuomo, you're telling me Cuomo is not going to do Thanksgiving with his brother and his father and his mother? He lies. I can't believe it. I know that. Refuse. And he does it every year with his kids. So I'm just I don't telling you. That. And they go out to eat. You know, I'm going to go a step further. The, the mayor, the, the governor of Los Angeles. Uh, what's his name again? I have it written down over here. The governor of L.A., and I have it on, on the last page. I'm going to tell you what this winner did. He, um, he, the governor, Newsom, he, went, he said, I made a mistake. He went out to dinner with 12 people. He got caught. Then the legislators made a trip to Hawaii. They went on vacation to, uh, during Corona. So that not only are they spreading, the, and then he says, do what I say, not what I do. This governor actually <laughs> makes the whole state, locks down the state, tortures everybody, and he can do whatever he wants. Gavin Newsom. G Gavin Newsom. And Governor Cuomo goes for a haircut in a barbershop, no mask on his face. And what well, was the other idiot? self coronated The King rules Cuomo. don't apply to so them. So people don't think that I'm crazy, people. Stop thinking that I'm crazy. And Cuomo's brother, whatever, somebody took a haircut. But I want to tell you about the mask mandate. And I learned this today. And I looked into it. The Germany, and I, I'm not even going to go to 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 that part of it. Where's page two over here about the mask mandate? I'm going to tell you. Here it is. That masks are hurt, are ruining. And you're going to get upset with me. Are making our livelihoods and making us depression. This is what the masks are doing. Let me tell you. If we, they told us originally, if we wear masks for six weeks, this is what Fauci said. Starting now, Joe Biden's going to make it a mask mandate that everybody has to do it. So I want you to know what happened. Joe Biden. UK, oh the United Kingdom, started the mask mandate when when Corona was at its lowest point. Right after the mask mandate started, boom, Corona started to rise. Get better. Spain. You can see it all on a, you don't have to trust me. Look at their spreadsheets. Go online. Spain started the mask mandate when Corona was at its lowest point. Boom, it went to a rise. Italy, when it ended, Italy almost ended all its Corona. Boom, it went up. All of a sudden, when the virus was on, France, again, Belgium. Here but again, I thought wait, wait, wait. wearing this was protecting myself and others. But I'm not even going there. Germany, it was coming down, and Germany always uh, takes credit for everything that, that, you know, they made it come down. They didn't make it come down to legislators when they started the masks and went down. Now, Denmark does not want people to wear masks. They don't force you to do it. Now their, their spread is one of the slowest. Here's the best part. Um, Sweden never did any Corona mandates. Didn't shut their stores, didn't shut their economy. Almost zero. It's almost gone. V corona is almost gone. Whatever you want to scream. I watched yesterday television. China, back to normal. There's no nothing. Stores, restaurants, uh, factories, everything Herd is wide open. Herd immunity probably kicked in completely. Co complete, in right, the whole right. country. And remember, they have a billion people. Wow, no more Corona for them, but we keep having Corona. Do they do mental evaluations to the people that are uh, um, placing these uh, rules and regulations? But here's my best part. Obvi yeah. Obviously, so for people that are going into office, they don't. Because if they did, they would discover the Biden, and you don't have to dis you don't need a mental evaluation. But, but he has he dementia. He has early stages There's of dementia. dementia he's and he's not, not qualified. Confident. He's Guys, not confident. Are qualified. I can't hear you. But I want you to know, t Tennessee has four counties. One of the counties did not close anything. Their bars, restaurants, nothing. And they're the fine. other three counties spiked because of the masks that one county so i want you to know something you'll call me a wise guy so i'm going to tell you let let's protect the vulnerable and, and let, help them live let us do it i agree with you people say it's impossible so i know it really is possible there's a harvard medical school guy called martin koldroff he was on the tom wood show and he said a majority of the infection diseases epi epi epidemiologists say they favor the strategy of no lockdowns three scientists from stanford and harvard and oxford said if we continue to use unsuccessful age-wide lockdown measures to suppress the diseases, unless we have an improbable, safe, and effective vaccine, it could take several years for this epidemic to come to an end. And it's, it is it's most like it's most unlikely that the measures available to protect our older people could be maintained for that long. So if we focus protection, if we use it the right way, you know, but so far our people in charge have not come up with one right thing. For Fucci, what's his name again? Fauci. Fauci. Fauci, Lucci, whatever, keeps coming up with new ideas, keeps telling us, now he's joining the Biden team. Yeah. Now Fauci's he's saying, a little yeah, pimp, I don't he's know. A little, he's a little nothing. So the American lockdown, as you can see, that Biden wants us to wear masks. He wants to, um, 
He doesn't want us to well, talk. Well, Biden doesn't know what he yeah, wants. But Biden want... is being lauded want... over by Harris and by the squad and by Nancy but, Pelosi. But people out there. By the leftist, uh, progressive, or liberal uh, whatever crazies. You, but whatever you want to say, now they're going to come out with a rule, we can't travel. They, oh, they're going to limit our travel. They're going to tell us, oh, you can't touch people. Oh, you can't. Um, they're going to control every inch of, of our lives that we can't even get married. We have to sneak in to make wedding halls until the side entrance. Sneak to bury. It's a sneak to bury. I tell you something, de Blasio is saying that he has additional restrictions and activities to stop the second wave. To what I was told by Fauci, I remember listening to it, we're going to have a second wave in the summer. We're going to have a second wave in November. It's November, almost December. So they're saying the second wave is here. Where is your second wave? All the hospitals are full all over the country. Again, I don't know about the rest of the country, but people are telling me it's not true. And I'm telling you here in New York City, I'm only, t listen to me, listeners, listen to me, my friends. New York City, I'm going hospital to hospital. I'm getting reports. I don't see the overload. I don't see the Javits Center full again. I don't see the boats. Anyways, President Trump, we're going to get to you next, guys. The what do you call right now? The phones are overloaded. We're going to go to the phones, time, but yeah. I want to talk about another subject for everybody to hear. Will Trump win the election? So if Trump has to lose a couple of these state uh, uh, court battles. The judges that have been ruling against him. It doesn't like make it. It's not you, him. The, private people are doing it, and Trump really now has about a thousand people are here working on this. He has Dershowitz. He has Rudy Giuliani, and I also saw this Dominion. I want you to see this one. This you're going to like this. This Dominion voting machines. This guy told people, Dominion's top engineer told Antifa activists, don't worry about the election. Trump's not going to win. I made effing sure of that. How the hell well, did this he is, come this out is, with this? This is a Dominion engineer or something, somebody that's part yeah, of, actually yeah, part yeah. of Dominion. The voting machine. You know, what, what, what I don't understand you is like whether you show name? so I... many thousands or so many less, more thousands. Millions. The reality is, or millions or whatever, the reality is is that you see that there has been you know, in 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 inconsistencies, you see that there have been too many, too many. Uh, the votes have been changed. There have been. You see all this. This should be An enough. An astronomical this should, amount. Ena you, this should be enough. A fraud. F enough fraud has been displayed. It should be has been evidence to stop and to overturn this entire election. Mm -hmm. Say, you know something. Let's do it again. Let's do it right from the beginning. Let's do it six what months from now. Let's do it. Guys, guys, what amount is I, I, needed? I'm going to play a video from... At uh, what point? I, I want you to hear this recording by Cuomo, but before you hear it, I want you to know Cuomo, by the way, got a raise of $25,000. That's you disgusting. Know that? I know, I know. <laughs> That's disgusting. This, Budget guys. cuts. In a red zone in Brooklyn and Queens, and we close the schools. Don't you remember that? Okay, so don't you... So what are you talking about? How, what are you talking about? You're now going to override. We did it already. That's the law. An orange zone and a red zone. Follow the facts. I'm so confused. Well, then you're confused. I'm confused. And then I'll tell you what you mean. Parents are still confused as well. The schools oh, they're not confused. Tomorrow. You're confused. No, I think but parents read are the law. confused. Now, the only person that I know is confused that's is Governor Cuomo. That's not the way Cuomo. a governor should be right, speaking. Right, that's not the right. So you all scream at me, has she behaved yourself? Here's a man talking that the, we're not confused, which we are confused. He's confused. He's telling a guy who's a beautiful uh, reporter that, that, that he's confused. This guy is just arrogant. And that's His the law. His response is an insult. Who made this law? Yeah, it's amazing. Law? When a reporter asks tough questions, the politicians duck. And when you, if you look back at the election and during the, the, the Trump and the, the debates and everything else, None of the tough questions were asked to Biden. Hey, Mr. Biden, what about your son? What about your Chinese connection? What about any of that stuff? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, do, you, do you support, do you approve of fracking? No, yes, no. Nobody was asking any of the tough questions. They would go, they treated him with kid gloves. But when they went up against President Trump, who did everything he promised during the last four years and gave his life for this country, they hit him with everything they could. Okay, so now you got that part. And as you know, I'm going to get ended. Uh, well, we're not going to end our show, but I'm going to end now. We're going to take some phone calls. As you know, I'm running for city council. And is uh, um, and I'm and I'm serious. I'm going to be fighting so many government agencies. I'm going to start pitching the, the you know people sending your money to me. Really, HeshiTishler.com. You want me elected? You want changes? I'm going in with 35 new councilmen. I already have five good friends that are going in there. I even like one of the mayors. The people who are running, Eric Adams, announced. Um, I'm going to see who else is running. I have three Republicans on our side. So I'm telling you, if I go in there with eight or nine people, and I can get together another 10, 11 of them. We can take over the city council, and no stupid mayor can ever boss you people around. Not at all. If and we have a proper squad of our own people in there. And I'm not going to be open eight hours a day. 
My office is going to be available to the public. Last night, somebody was arrested, a lady that uh, the police called on her, and she had some issues. She called me at 2 o'clock in the morning. I said, yes, I will get a lawyer. We'll help you out in the morning. Let's see what we can do. Let's go talk to the you people. You make me proud, Hashi. Well, you remind me of Dove Hiking when I he was young. But I always young, take yeah. the calls. But my, it's not going to be me alone. When I get in, my office is going to have three shifts. I'm going to use the money correctly. I'm going to have people working the morning shift with me, the afternoon shift, and the night calls. Anything emergency, I'm going to have either people working with the local uh, um, authorities, the local authorities, the local uh, volunteer groups. I'm going to make sure we we, we get proper firemen, liaisons. I'm going to make sure the city council has properly. Plus, I'm going to cut two and a half billion dollars off the budget as I. Has she's going to make this city? The city that never hey, sleeps. Did, so my competitor, yeah, I like that. My, hey. com- my competitor, Amber Adler, and I don't want to talk bad about her, even though I will right now. She is a woman that hasn't worked in four or five years. She cries about the pandemic, but she takes her seven and eight year old kids to pandemic rallies. But the best part is, she actually got her husband deported and has not allowed her father of the children to see the kids in seven L years. Now, tell me that's a normal... That's the woman you want for city councilman? Oh, God. Please be embarrassed, guys. Go. If that's what you want, good. Be my guest. Maybe but, we take a few calls now. Yeah, They've been hanging calls. on there. The entire board is full. And we've been... Let's take a phone uh, call. Go ahead. Yeah, well, he's not telling us. You're on the air with Heshi Bumi Sawyer. Hello? Hello. Hello. Hello, you're on the air with Hashi Bumi and Soya. Let me check with the producer, Avraham. Hello, you're on the air with Hashi Bumi and Soya. Rabbi Hashi, it's Judah from Idaho. I was wondering if you're Messiah. No, he's not the Messiah, but he is a local a messiah in some ways that he will help us to accomplish so, so, a lot and improve so Judah, a lot of lives. I want to tell Judah, you, Judah, we appreciate I want to thank that. Thank you for the call. But let me tell Judah before you pick up another call. When I was at the wedding yesterday, a guy comes over to me, a young boy, starts screaming at me. You have to be quiet. That's not the way we do things. Who do you think you are? God runs the world. I said, God sent me. Nobody else is standing up. I let me tell you something. I don't care if that's what you guys don't want. You guys don't want to be represented. Fine, that's not a problem. But if you think that I'm gonna stand over there and let them take advantage of me. If you think they're not going to let me have Thanksgiving dinner, one, four, if you're going to tell them to think that I cannot, I can, I have one, to wear a mask in one, my house. Five. If I have to wear a mask <laughs> in my house, I, 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 I don't know. He's to, you, you can't do that, and I will not do that. I want you to understand that I'm not going to let you push me around. So if you don't want me to be representing you, that's fine. You bully. vote for Heshi. <laughs> Heshi, you don't promote violence, do you? No, no. Even though I threw my pen at him, let's take another call. Let's take line four. You're on the air with Heshi, Bumi, and Sawyer. I guess we kept Hello? it old. Yeah, you're on the air. What's up? Heshi, I agree with every point that you had to make, but it's just one thing that I, I, no, I don't, no don't one agree. Thing. There's no one thing. Go to the next line. If you agree, you agree. Don't point me out bad. I'm not interested in your bad remarks. Tell me how to do better. Hello, you're on the air with Heshi, Bumi, and Sawyer. Uh, you see, I don't know what my producer is doing. He's still letting people call into the show. Hello, you're on the air with Heshi, Bumi, and Sawyer. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Yeah, Big H? Eddie! How yeah, are you? Hey, I Eddie. missed you, Eddie. Hello. Hi, Eddie. Big H and Bumi. Hello, all you. Okay, I find through. Listen, I, 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 are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Oh, okay, listen, I just wanted to let you know, to keep track of how... Uh, the Trump campaign is, or should I say, the the uh, lawsuits. Uh, Mr. Giuliani is, is is a prime mover in that, and he's on the he's on the radio every day, almost every day at three o'clock, from three to four, and he's repeating it at nine o'clock. In fact, he's on the radio now on seven seventy a.m. God bless him. I, I love I him. Know. I met him in person years ago. I, I'm crazy about him. He's we terrific. love you, Rudy. Yeah. Okay, I don't know his website, but that would be a very good way to keep track of what's going on. I don't want to go into all the details, but he's certainly very optimistic about these lawsuits. And what do you think, Eddie? What's your opinion, court. Eddie? Because you're watching the news like me. I mean, you're talking uh, Fox News keeps blocking out certain news things. They, yes, they, they yes. suspended uh, Judge Jean Pierre, P- Pierre, what's her name? Uh, Judge Jean, uh, Jean, she's back. Jean Pierre, I know, Pierre. because she... Yeah. I, now, I don't understand. Are they lying? I mean, when I'm watching CNN, wow, he's winning already. Biden won. Uh, now, now, actually, yeah, I, okay, maybe my viewpoint is too on this, but I use 
I use talk radio. I eliminate some of the rhetoric. I know if I'm, I'm getting something from them, it's the truth. You, you can usually tell when they're being a little bit of exaggeration. But the facts, you can't trust anything else you get in this goddamn city. But no, why? you can't. Well, you, you, wait, wait, wait. If you hear it from Sean Hannity, if you hear it from okay. Tucker oh, yeah. Carlson, talk radio. from talk Ingram, radio. from yes. Laura Ingram, but, you but can you listen. See, they are telling the truth. So, guys, let me tell you, you guys are from the right. Now, the people on the left, the, 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 the Biden people are saying, no, you guys yeah, are they spinning. Lie. Yeah, they but lie. They, but they're saying they lie. But everything they say is a goddamn lie. So, but, everything. Eddie, we'll, we'll stop with those words. But Eddie, I have a question for you. Seventy-four yes. million people did vote for Trump. Let's That's get right. there. Let's get it out of the way. But seventy million people did vote for Biden. Even if you want to take away five million false votes, ten million, yes. he did get sixty million. So fifty percent, forty-eight percent of this country believes or thinks we're lying. So what's going on over here? They've been brainwashed for years That's now. That's right. Brainwashed and they're stupid, or they got or they got an axe to grind. So That's you're correct. Me, half this country is stupid. That's it, it, or all brainwashed, no, stupid, or they've got an axe to grind. More than half. <laughs> That's right. They're either stupid, naive, or they got an axe to grind. So, I, so that's what I say. But then people come to me and say, Heshi, you just can't say that this is a conspiracy theory, even though oh, I believe baloney. Corona I believe corona is conspiracy because China, that started this disease, has no more disease, has no more well, corona I spread. I, I, Heshi, you can't trust anything you hear from the red Chinese I, but, either. But I know that, but we're telling, and they're telling me that all the hospital beds are full all over the country. In my city where we have upticks, I don't, don't see, see it. it. I don't see it. And, right. even, and when I did lying. my, and we did our own testing, and we got to our neighborhood, with our not not all our politicians, only one of them is Dachenstein, we got our testing down in the yellow zone. Question, how come when we did real testing, and still the governor... The governor's making orange and red zones. If you would do real proper testing, we wouldn't be up to three percent. I don't know, Eddie. I don't know. Are we? Are we? Are we? Be, are we? Li- are they really going to control us? Am I ready to be locked in my house? Are they going to have the police walk in the streets? Is this the way our planet has come to? I don't know. Not if the United States is to remain a democratic republic. That's we right. are a democracy. But Eddie, Eddie, God Eddie. forbid they take over. Yeah, then you know something? We may become a socialist country, a communist country, and heaven help us if that happens. Well, yes, I, I'm ready to take the vaccine virus, and I'm telling you now that I don't understand why they're not giving it to us yet. I don't know why they're not taking care of our elderly. I don't have no idea that I, I, I'm not ready for a civil war. But if we have to protect ourselves, we will. And I know there's a lot of guys out there that will, and it's going to be a shame that if we take this beautiful country. It certainly country, would be. But do you believe there could be a civil war, really? Could we believe it in our well, time? Let, let's just there. There is one already. It's just not with weapons, Thank except God. on the except on the other side. That's correct. You see, you notice one thing. We had, there was a rally in favor of Trump. Yeah, we're hundreds peaceful. of thousands of people, right. civilized, peaceful, marching and rallying in support. On the other hand, the progressive liberal lunatics out there went out and they start attacking physically. At They're night. the violent ones. They attack their crazies. Eddie, bottom line, They're Eddie. dangerous. They, but they could spark a civil war. Okay. It Eddie, could, yes. Eh, I don't think so because if Trump I wins, hope to God, he'll send no, the army out. He'll send the army out, but there could be, there could be a civil war as Eddie, a result. They'll come out like yeah, mad. Go ahead, Eddie. They'll burn Eddie, the cities. In your heart, do you believe Trump is going to win this election? Not yes. what you want. Uh-uh. Do you believe he's going to win it? Amen. Yes, I do. Amen. Well, I'm in with you guys. Everybody says, Heshi, you gave up. I did not give up. Don't give up. The point is, I will never give up, but I will, but I want you to know, this is America. And the bottom line is whether it's a false election or not false election, there is a system, and we have to follow that system. Now, I don't. we have to change the system. I'm hoping at the next election, Eddie, that we, why haven't we cleaned up our act? I have no idea. I have no Mr. Heshi, I got a, I got a, simp, a little simple proverb. Winners never quit, and quitters never win. Exactly. So we can't afford to quit because we'll certainly lose then. Eddie, God before you get you, off Eddie. the phone, did you like my jokes? Yes. I love you. Wonderful boy. Thank you, Eddie. Thank Good you. Good night, all. You stay well, Eddie. Night, Eddie. It's great hearing well. from you. Bye. See, Bye. he's a smart, intelligent, this is a sophisticated the man individual understands. This is, but it's not only that he's a New Yorker and he's no. Yes. But I still don't know why the New Yorkers voted for Biden. What's wrong with us? Let me be, look, I, 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 I have to be some, to some extent, politically correct, but let me be realistic to some extent. A lot of people, let's say African Americans, for but example. But they're giving away their civil African liberties. African Americans voted in favor of Biden because they did not vote for Biden. They voted on a racist. They voted as racist. They voted for a woman, Harris. They voted 
for Harris because they figured she's going to be running things and she's a half black and she'll be stepping in to the presidency. How come, come out, so so how in, 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 essence, no, no. in essence, this was a racist vote. No, no. How, uh, white Americans look, don't, don't vote that, that way. I don't believe that. I'm sorry. Now, look at the Latino vote. They really they they, uh, Yeah, they didn't vote on racist okay, grounds. They I went ahead and voted for what was right for America. I have a question for you. How come Camilla, or what's her name? Kamala? Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris. How come she didn't give up her Senate seat if she's already vice president? Well, that's an interesting question. Right. That means she's, 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 she's playing her card. She's making sure she doesn't, just in case something just changes, case changes, she's, she's holding there. on. Let's take line two. Let's Let's take another call. We're running a little bit out of time, but we're going to take your calls. You're on the air with Heshi, Bumi, and Sawyer. We're not. You're on the air with Heshi, Bumi, and Sawyer. Yeah, Rabbi. We're taking only adults today, guys. Heshi, Bumi, and Sawyer, you're on the air with us. Heshi, you still holding a 300? I don't understand. Guys, no, they're not keeping our calls. I thought my, my, my producer knows what I he's thought doing. he was filtering. I know he was. Heshi, Bumi, and Sawyer. You didn't push a button. Hello, you're on there with Heshi, Bumi, and Sawyer. Hi, Heshi. Yes. How are you over there? Today, I'm... You can't just hang up on everybody. You no, flick your I hand down. I think <laughs> Don't hit I'm him. being uh, hit over here. I know he's here. happy all you, the time. You can't hit him. Push a button and let them scream. We don't care. Line five, line three, who cares? You're on the air. Oh, no, I don't like 516 numbers. Hello. Hey, Heshi. Hey, guys. Love the show. What's Thank up? You. Another great show. Thank you. Uh, I have two points. Number one, for a show like yours, you guys need a real jingle. Like, you know, the professional radio stations? I'd love to see <laughs> a, like a real that. jingle well, before. I, I, we, like, we, I, I like our, our entry. Uh, that's uh, our little jingle. And maybe at some that. point right. in the future, we'll, we'll build it up to even Once something more. Once I get elected, we'll see. Anyways, my, maybe my you could work on it. <laughs> I'm not the singing type, but uh, my point is as follows. And I'm curious to see how she and for your, your guys' take. Um, the same way, look at New York. You know, it wasn't always like this with de Blasio and Cuomo. We've had Rudy Giuliani. We've had Governor Pataki. Do you think that what's going on in New York right now is foreshadowing what the United States of America is going to look like in the next five, ten years? I don't believe it will, even though it's, we're stupid because the Democrats and Republicans are fighting with each other. Anything is possible, of course. But, we, you know, we used to have a, a, a middle ground, a conservative people. Now we have Republicans on one side, which I like very much, and then you have the Crazy left is Democrats, which, you know, AOC, she came into power and she's just flipping everybody out. I know when I get into city council, AOC is not going to have nothing to say in our town. I'm going to put that crazy woman in her place. I'm going to, let me tell you something, Pataki told Governor Cuomo he's an idiot. I mean, this guy, we, we never had mayors and governors fighting and not being on the same page. These guys are never on the same page. Well, we can only hope that it's not foreshadowing what the future well, of the states will be. that's why I want to get into city council. I know that I can help the state. I'm going to try to be an, uh, uh, an inspiration and let other towns and cities fight back. But I'm going to be an advocate for everywhere. I think uh, Congresswoman-elect uh, Mali Otakis said she's going to get together a group of conservative Congress people that will be a counterweight against the squad. Well, anyway, you're on the air with I'm Heshi, Bumi, and Sawyer. Good you're evening. You're on the air with Heshi, Bumi, and Sawyer. No, you're not. Nobody pushed the button. You're on the air with Heshi, Bumi, and Sawyer. I am? You are? No. Yeah? No. Hello, you're on the air with Heshi, Bumi, and Sawyer. Good evening. Hello? Yes, hello. Good evening. Hi. I have two questions. How come Fox News still has not awarded uh, how come the Max Rose and uh, Nicole Maracasas, whatever her name is, uh, how come they are awarded? The second thing is, have you seen the numbers that they show from Kings County, Brooklyn, that the numbers for uh, Trump was only about 174,000 people that voted for him versus uh, Biden, like double, triple amount? Well, How does that make sense? That's, first, that's, of all, first of all, Rose did concede, by the he way. He did, that's correct. He did concede, so the election is over. But, I, but you know why you're right? Again, there was a, over that I know of over 1,000 people that voted for me right in votes. That means they didn't just go and make a mistake. They actually had to call them in the box and put my name in, and still they're telling me that they haven't counted, or, which they should have been finishing the count. I don't believe that they did this vote correctly. And I saw that when I was running from machine to machine, when I was running from a, the 12 votes, voting uh, 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 poll sites. I know there was something funny. So everybody's saying again, has she conspiracy? Has she something it's a funny? Not, not to mention I, outside. I, outside I excuse me. Yes. Sorry. Uh, outside I of the... I personally got five ballots, absentee ballots. Oh, look at this. Uh, let me tell you something. And I, and I, and I, I know... Up and I asked them, 
They told me to go jump in the lake. I have a friend, by the way, that his ballot was never received, never counted until after the election. He never got counted. That's first of all. Second of all, remember another thing. When you're talking about inner city, aside from the Jewish vote on the whole, you get the Democratic line down the line. That's the way they vote. Mm -hmm. It's the way they vote where they don't think about who. They just go right down the line Democrat. So that's one of the problems. But anyway, thank you for your call. Uh, we'll take another one. By the way, uh, good evening. Uh, you're on the line with Heshi Soya and Bumi. Heshi? Yeah. I just want to tell you. No, we don't want you to tell us anything. Don't tell please, me. Please, please. No, please hang please. up on Then him. we'll get on with somebody else. Right. <laughs> Hi. Hi, you're on the air with Heshi Bumi, and he wants to tell us. With Heshi Soya on. and Bumi. Good hang evening. You didn't hang up on this stupid kid. You're on the air with Heshi Bumi and Soya. Hello. You're on the air. Yeah, I'm, I pooped today. <laughs> That's nice. I know. What are, you see Hello, you're on the air with Heshi Soya and Bumi. Heshi, can I get on? See, the problem right, is... Enough of these pranksters, it, it, young it, it, pranksters. It, 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 is this, pranks. is this, it's at oh, school, Derek HaTova. It's not too bright. Hello, still, you're on the air with Heshi, Bumi, and Soya. So my Rabbi Bender, I appeal to you. No, no, don't appeal to him. I, te- I, I suggest, I strongly Rabbi urge Bender. you. You're making a mistake. It's not only Rabbi he's Bender. He's not the one that's, no, no, it's, not it's his also, students. You know, I was watching a video from this guy, Rabbi Yaron. Uh, he's a Sephardic rabbi. The, the man, the man is, but I'm not talking bad about a rabbi, but the man has no power. Nobody listens to him. It's not only him. It's a lot of other people. So I watched a video of him getting on the ear saying, has she tishla? is bad. He sees me hugging women. Now, I don't hug women. I put my hand around, or they put that ne- or they stand next to me to take There's pictures. There's nothing wrong with You're a friendly hug on a page. Hug, a- but either I don't care that I'm hugging, but he was talking so bad. Then he, I was telling him that, you know, how I was following around on a holiday in a car to watch my community. Now, this rabbi should apologize that he went to the public and he dirtied my... This is a rabbi. So if you're telling me a rabbi could talk bad about me, why can't I talk bad about de Blasio and Cuomo or idiots? No, Don't you're, stoop you're, to their level. Well, it doesn't work like that. But anyways, I'm just trying to explain to you something. The hate that this city has come to, the divide that this city's come to, and the only way to fight back is with screaming and hating. I'm not hating not anybody. Hating, screaming, screaming and letting and them have it. Letting them have it. Let's take another call. Hi, you're on the air with Heshi, Bumi, and Soya. Hey, are you going to run for mayor? I wish <laughs> I was. Surely, I think the so. Prob- no, I'm not running for mayor. The problem with mayor is, is that the mayor... Right now, our mayor's lost. I mean, he has no brains. I would love to run for mayor, but I can't win. Remember, we have so many different communities, and a lot of people don't know me. I wish I could run for mayor. But right now, the, the mayor has a, a group of people called the city council. The city co- Thank you for your call, by the way. The city council is the Congress like to the president. We control the budget. We control the city. The mayor is our boss, and he signs off on the paperwork. But we have a right to override them. You can. We have a right to, if we have enough city council members, that we can push legislation in. You're right, the budget won't get approved. So then you guys have to make sure that you have a proper mayor that will listen to the city council. Normal people. Normal people that will work with the city council. The mayor de Blasio doesn't work with anybody. He does whatever he wants. The city council members are hiding in their basements. Really, you never see them. They come out. The state senators come out out for rallies or for press conferences just to make them look good and they're never out there uh, my question is why aren't they out there call their offices i'm telling you now i'm not getting angry with Chaim Deutsch. I like Chaim Deutsch. But the, even though he's putting up his wife, that's another competitor to run against me. A, a girl who's a secretary, she's running a $90 billion budget. Here you go, Chaim Deutsch. Where are you, man? I've had people call your office. I've had people who are getting arrested call your office. You know where to be found. Your only where to be found is when something big happens, you post a video on your Instagram or your on your uh, uh, on your it Twitter. sounds routine to a lot but of our not officials. Fair, Chaim. I thought it's not you right. wanted the good ones. My problem is, is these guys are out for themselves. They make $350,000, $380,000 salaries. This is not a joke. These guys are taking money and they're sitting behind or they're going into their basements. If, if the city is locked down and you're not doing anything and you're working through Zoom, that doesn't count. I want the city employees furloughed. You know, today I couldn't get somebody a CFO because the Topo office, the, the address verification place, is not open for months. Shame. We can't sign off Shame. the job. We just can't sign off the job. And it doesn't work like that. Things I, can't move forward can't, that way. Move for, Let's are take another so call. You're on, the, you're on the air with Heshi, Bumi, and Sawyer. Good evening, out of Hi, state call. I'm saying? Good evening. You're on the air with Heshi, Sawyer, and Bumi. 
All right, I got a question for Sawyer. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hello? Hi, you're on the air with Heshi Sawyer and Bumi. Oh, Heshi, I love you. It's Rachel. I got two important points. Go ahead, okay? Rachel. Make it quick. We're running out of time because okay. a lot of people wasted it. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. NASA hired corporations to go up to mine the moon. They sent a few astronauts, and guess what? They found some ballots up there. <laughs> I am not surprised. Hey, Rachel, she's doing the weekly jokes yeah, now. Yeah, Rachel, I'm, I'm getting you. you. That was a better joke than mine. You're very good, Rachel. That was very good. Listen, I also want to tell you that the we women that are your soldiers, we're not soldiers. Remember Ike and Tina Turner? We're Ikeettes. No, they're not Ikeettes. Like, they were Ikeettes. We're Heshettes. Hey, I love that. Thank you. Well, so all right. Much. Thank you. See you we soon. appreciate I love you. it. You stay Bye. well. I want you guys <laughs> to know, my army, okay. my, I know you guys are screaming army, army, army. I want you guys, this is a movement. We've got to spread the movement across the country. I'm getting, I'm getting uh, messages from Vegas and from North Carolina. I love you people out there. And I love that you guys came out to protect me. And so many of you said such good things. Of course, there's always somebody that says something bad or something bad about Jewish people. But you know what? Everybody says I consider myself a Jew. Sure, I'm a Jew. That's what I am. But I consider myself a an citizen. American. An American. I a consider patriotic myself, American. And I, patriotic. And I consider my neighbors, my friends, my, 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 any of all the, I don't look at colors or religions, even though you can do whatever you want. I want you to know. We are one people. This is the greatest country in the world because we fight together. We got to stick together. We can't let oppression come to us. Doesn't the Torah say we are all made in God's image? It's, it's not only the Torah. It's the Bible. It's the, it's the, the Bible. Quran. It all correct. of them. We are one people. I love my brothers in the Muslim community. Can we get one more in? One more call, but you got 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Hello, you're on the air. Yeah, Hashi. You're, boom, boom is your twin. Oh, but me's my friend. Anyways, we're coming to the end of the show. I want to thank our advertisers. I want to thank our listeners. I want you to know you're wonderful. Get out there. HeshiTishler.com. I'm very serious. I got to raise the money. I got to beat these competitors. We can't let another idiot in city council. We can't be sneaking in. Yard. Let's stop it. Mr. de Blasio, Mr. Cuomo, I'm going to respect you. I just wish you'd leave your office. And Penny Ringo, you liaison, <laughs> I hate you. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. The program is a paid advertisement. The opinions and views.